Hey everyone, this is Dave here with a look at For Honor on PS4 and PS4 Pro. So the game recently had an open beta over the weekend and we thought we'd check it out, especially since this was one of the first games announced to support PlayStation 4 Pro and briefly showcased at the console's reveal event with Mark Cerny. And yeah, the beta does indeed fully support PS4 Pro, with an upgraded resolution along with more stable levels of performance. It's an upgrade that is easy to see when compared to the base PS4 game regardless what type of TV you're using. In terms of the specifics, the base game runs at native 1080p using a form of post-processed temporal anti-aliasing. Features very clean image quality and generally looks rather good. Though it's worth mentioning that the presentation is on the smoother, more natural side of things rather than appearing pin sharp. And this also carries on through to the pro version. Curiously, pixel counts reveal a resolution of around 1440p on the Pro, but I have to say image quality looks considerably more polished than the majority of 1440p titles we've seen before. Sure enough, the presentation isn't razor sharp, but image quality appears very clean, and there's plenty of sharpness in the details as well. Texture details appear crisper and clearer than on the base PS4 game, and when running the game on the PS4 Pro on a 4K screen, we get a noticeably clearer, sharper image compared to the base game running on a 1080p screen. It's a clear improvement there. What's interesting is our pixel counts put resolution in at around 1440p, whereas previously the developer has suggested that they're using a temporal injection technique in order to deliver the resolution boost. So it's kind of interesting to see where the resolution has ended up with the beta version at least. That said, the use of post-process anti-aliasing and what looks like a temporal component definitely does a good job with image quality. There's very little in the way of scaling artifacts aside from a slight softness in the image, and all told it's a massive upgrade over the base PS4 game in resolution alone. That looks great on a 4K HD TV, and from regular seating distances could possibly pass as a native presentation. Aside from the boost in pixel counts though, the core artwork appears to be identical to the base PS4 game, though it's worth pointing out that texture clarity and detail is brought out with the increase in pixel counts, which delivers a more detailed image all round. We also notice some tweaks to ambient occlusion, delivering a touch more depth in certain parts of the environment. It's a genuinely nice upgrade all round for PS4 Pro owners, and the same can also be said for performance. Now in terms of the base PS4 game, frame rates are already very very stable. We're looking at an almost locked 30fps for the duration of gameplay. There's an occasional dropped or torn frame, but it's fair to say that this doesn't impact in gameplay whatsoever and you'll be hard pressed to notice it at all. So we have no issues with the way the game performs on the beta. And on the PS4 Pro, performance is absolutely flawless, delivering a locked 30fps with no drops whatsoever. And this gives us a very consistent experience all throughout the game. It's really not that different from the base PS4 game in terms of frame rate, but it's fair to say that this title is designed around hitting 30fps, so expecting a frame rate upgrade up to 60fps was probably out of the question, and I don't think running with an uncapped frame rate would have been a great choice either. Essentially, the Pro takes an already refined experience and just adds an extra layer of polish on top of it. Anyway, it's a promising start for the game so far, and that's good to see considering this is just the beta version. So the final game should hold up very well too, but that's something we'll have to check out when it releases. So I think I'll leave it there for now. If you enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to like or subscribe. And if you'd like to see the original high quality version of this in code, then check out digitalfoundry.net, our Patreon site, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.